Hey guys, this is Afik. Uh, view server side rendering in a PHP server was not possible until recently. Uh, now we have a new PHP extension called V8.js that integrates the V8 engine that can handle JavaScript rendering into our PHP runtime. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll install all the necessary dependencies so we have access to V8 in our PHP application. Uh, our final goal is to create a PHP Laravel project that can render our Vue.js components on the server and send back an HTML string to the browser. Then, in the client side, we can initialize our Vue.js application to create, a, uh, to create the, the virtual DOM and give this HTML all the logic we've had in our Vue components. If you ever wondered what are the benefits of having a server-side rendered application, I'll leave a link in the description below for some great resources on this topic. But the main two reasons, in my opinion, are uh, one for better SEO. Uh, the search engines, crawlers that are indexing our site will see a fully rendered page, uh, not just an empty element that the JavaScript had yet took effect on. And the second reason is that our visitors will experience a much faster time to content. They get to see the, the entire content of our site before our JavaScript is even loaded, especially for users with a poor internet connection. There are more, but I think that those reasons alone are good enough to consider a server-side rendered application. Now, one thing before we begin, uh, the dependencies I'm about to install in my local machine are just for the sake of this tutorial. I'm working on a Mac, but normally you'll have it installed on a local or production Linux server, so it can have the capabilities of compiling JavaScript code inside a PHP application. Um, my current PHP version is 7.2.4. Uh, the minimum requirement for the V8.js extension is a V8 engine installed at a version of 4.6 or higher and a PHP version 7.0 or higher since it is using uh, thread locking that was introduced in PHP 7. The first step is to make sure we have V8 available in our machine. So let's go ahead and install it through Homebrew. Uh, we can type brew install V8. I already have this dependency installed. So as you can see, it says it's already installed and up to date. Um, to test it out, you can type V8 and try any JavaScript expression uh, just to make sure it compiles and runs. So let's do 8 plus 7 var a equals 1, 8 plus 15. And as you can see, we have access to the V8 engine. Great. Uh, the next step is to make sure we have PECL because this is what we're going to use to install the VAJS extension to our PHP. Um, if you have the latest OSX version uh, on your Mac, you most likely have it installed already. Uh, you can check it out by typing which PECL. And as you can see, mine is located inside my user local bin directory. If you don't have it, I'll leave a link in the description below with instructions on how to install it on Windows, Linux, and Mac. Now that we know we have PECL installed, uh, we can use it to install the VAJS extension. So the way to do that is by typing sudo PECL install VAJS, and we're still in the beta version. And again, as you can see, this extension is already installed in my machine. In your case, you'll have the PECL install the, the extension for you. Now we need to visit our php.ini file. Uh, to locate the file, you can type php-ini. And as you can see, mine is located right here. It's user local at cphp 7.2 php.ini. I can use VI to edit this file. And the line I want to add is the one right here. It says extension equals vajs.so. You can scroll down to the extensions area to just make it appear in the proper location, which is somewhere over here. But I just threw mine at the top here so uh, you guys can see it. Now, after we've installed the V8 engine and we have the vajs extension installed, we need to restart our PHP service. If you're on the Linux, you can do sudo uh, service php fpm and then the version of your PHP. So it would be 7 or 7.1 or 7.2 and then restart. In my case, I'm using Laravel Valet. And if you don't know what it is, it's just an awesome project that was written by the Laravel team. Uh, it will give you a great uh, development environment and you can create new projects. And it supports Laravel and Codeigniter and PHP Cake and WordPress and whatever you want. You can just whip up a new project 
and it is already available in your browser. I will leave a link in the description below for this project and I highly recommend you guys to check it out. So in my case, because I'm using Laravel Valet, I can just do Valet Restart and it will restart for me the PHP and the Nginx services. And when it's done, I think we can go ahead and create our new Laravel um, project. I'll see the into my code directory. Over there we can do Laravel new and the name of our project will be view SSR for server side rendering. And open it up in Visual Studio Code. Okay, I just want to check that I can run VAJS extension inside my uh, PHP project. So I'll just go into my route slash web.php file. And instead of returning the view welcome, I'll uh, grab an instance of the V8 engine by doing V8 equals new V8JS. And now we can use a method on the V8 extension called execute string. You pass it a string of JavaScript code and it will compile it for you and spit out the string output. Okay, so we can save the string output into, uh, let's call it JS output. It's going to be equal to V8 execute string. And uh, let's just try um, var hello equals hello var world equals world and hello plus space plus world. Okay, okay, let's take uh, this rendered output and send it into our view. Let's call this one welcome. And this is the JS output. Now we can visit our views slash welcome and go down for to to where it says Laravel and I'll switch this one with welcome. Okay, let's make sure that it works. Now, since I have Laravel Valet installed, I can visit my browser at the name of this directory .test. So view SSR .test. Okay, let's open up Chrome. Try view SSR .test. And as you can see, it worked. This is the output we have from this JavaScript code right here. Okay, uh, and it is rendered using V8 and the output goes into the JS output variable output. that we send into our view with the name welcome and we are printing the variable here and this is the one you get in the browser. Okay guys, this is it for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we'll go deeper into the Vue.js rendering uh, process and I'll show you how you can uh, consume Vue.js components inside your PHP application, render them and spit out the output to your browser and we'll just keep going from there. Once the next part is over, I'll leave all the code inside my GitHub project so you can check it out and play with it yourself. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.